Hey guys, SimCity, another episode here. How you guys doing? Uh, let's go ahead and get, let's get started with this one. I've done a little bit of done a little bit of work off camera here. Not so much with this city, but what I had done is having some real trouble getting the alloy for the international airport. My recycling center just really isn't doing it. I'm not sure why or what's going on. The other cities that I've had, I've I haven't had any issues with recycling maybe it's the lack of high wealth residents i have in the city or what but the last two times i had done an international airport the recycling center really put together everything for me the metal and the alloy was no issue so what i did just real quick this is just a small little city it took me about 30 minutes to kind of put together where i have you know just just the bare minimum here just to get my smelting factory so I can produce some additional alloy and metal for the international airport so my crude oil looking pretty good and then the alloy and the metal so I just wanted to put you guys or give you guys an idea of what I had done here this is pretty much as far as I'm going to take the city for right now I'm just trying to get the alloy that I need and the metal for the for the international airport so I just want to fill you guys in with that and then we will kind of ride back over here but um yeah so you know appreciate the feedback i've been getting for the other videos we're coming along nicely here a few issues that we were having with the last episode if you guys had watched it was crime was starting to get out of hand and what else we had well i'm trying to think if i should save the because i want to get the university built i'm thinking we might need to hold off just a little bit longer to get our money in a better situation or we can maybe put the university in one of the new re or one of the new areas but the but the university is going to give us those research projects that are going to help us move forward take the next step basically but let's see what are we at here turtle speed let's go ahead to llama speed and all right so power we're kind of having some it could be having some issues with power soon water's good sewage is good well we're pushing we got a lot of residents see this this statistic does not make any sense to me how am i collecting 3500 garbage cans of 1399 that's there's something buggy with that i'm not let's see fire service is slow Let's just see here. There's too much sewage in our sewer outlet. Hmm. I guess I need to upgrade, maybe? Put another one of these in there. Maybe another. another ooh, seven's the max? I didn't realize that. I thought you could just keep going forever and ever and ever. What's going on here? It's killer on the loose. See, that's another thing. The detective wing usually helps me when you start to get the city a lot bigger. And now we've hit a point where our city has grown. It's close to 200,000 residents, yet we don't have a university yet. And I can't do any type of research project because we are, well, we're not strapped for cash. I guess we could probably get a university somewhere in here. Let's find a good spot for it, though. Um, this here, how are we looking on crude? Is the crude done with? This game is still buggy, and I, you know, they should have fixed that. And I go over my other region. You saw what you saw what it said. It said crude oil 250,000, 250,000. Now I come over here where the crude oil is actually being shipped from. I don't know what's going on with that. It'll it'll all even out, though. I'm not I'm not worried. But I was thinking over here maybe for the university. Because typically you want it near your... What is going on over here? Typically you want it... Why is it... Oh, because it's just now on fire. I got it. It won't even let me bulldoze it. But what I was saying is typically you would want your your university as close to your industry as possible. Because that's what's the, your tech level is going to go up with that. So... Let's try to find a good spot for it. Um, maybe right in here? 
I don't think we'll need this anymore once we get our university in place. Um, I mean, that's we're going to have to lose a little bit of residential here, though, which is a concern. But I think it'll be worth it. Wow, look at this thing. Oh, my goodness. And that's another thing with the university. We'll get our, our hazmat trucks. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's 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 start moving this along here. Hate to do it, but she had it. All right. Look at that bus stop right where we need it to be. Gotta love that. Awesome. Well, there is like complete devastation over here. All right. This is going to take a little bit of time, but you'll see. This is going to help us out dramatically. Let's. Well, I guess we can leave that. Let's dezone some of this because we're. We need room, so just in case, we need to expand it. Okay, good. What that say? Training bubbles. We're not able to get all the fires. Yeah, I know, but let's give it a second, alright? This traffic is just agitating. Look at this mess. I mean, yeah, I understand it's, it's the main road, you know, through the city, but come on. This is what happens when you start to hit. What are we at now? 181. Uh, all right, all right. We got a nice little high wealth, high wealth area out here. Let me go back to this real quick. So we have non unemployed and we've got a ton of unfilled jobs. So it's inviting more residential growth depending on wherever it would fit. Got some buildings going in here, nice. You know, these roads aren't really laid out properly, to be honest with you. I'm not sure. Well, I guess the density here, this road is okay, but this one here where we have this cut through street, this is not. Eh, I guess it'll give, these, these will have to expand, but. It's not really laid out the way I'd like for it to be laid out. Education. We're getting really close to having everybody educated. Let's add another module here. Oops, some top floors. Maybe another bus. But we're at 4683 of 5498. It's only 815 unenrolled. That's pretty decent. And then we just put down the university, so. We're heading in the right direction. We got some expansion here. Uh, let's see, crude should be getting shipped out. Recycling should be. I'm thinking maybe next episode or the episode after that international airport. You'll see it's going to jump quick. From the other great works that I've had, like you'll go from back and forth from city to city, and all of a sudden it'll be done. I'm I'm, th I'm anticipating that happening. So. Research project. The first one I think of these I'm going to do, in case you guys aren't really familiar with the way the university works, is you have to you have to lay down the different schools. You know, school of engineering, school of law, school of medicine, school of engineering, and science. And then after you do that, after you you know you're eligible for it, you can select that the cost of the research. Of course, the research project, which will make one of these items, or all of these items, if you choose to research them all, available to you. Now, the first one, I believe, is probably the most important. Would most likely be... I could have swore the hazmat truck was somewhere in here. Well, let me look here. Forget what I gotta... So, I just need... I just... In order for this, I don't even need to do a research project. I just need to lay down the School of Engineering. But, 
I believe that's probably the most important at this time because let's put it on our side because of the, the 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 chance of a hazmat fire. So I guess we'll just put this here. That's fine. Well, it's all off center. That looks really ugly. <clears throat> But due to the fact that our tech and our tech level is going to go through the roof, we're probably going to want to lay down the School of Engineering. And then after we do that, let's see, which one of these? Engineering. Well, we can probably maybe do this. Or oh, no, we have an oil plant. Clean oil generator. That might help. This would probably be the next one here. That's gonna help us with the crime. Yeah, I just did. I got you. All right, cool. Well, what do we got here? Look at this thing. Business is okay. They're unhappy. Hmm. You wouldn't think they are the way they're expanding like that. Sold 45 an hour. Let's see, transportation. These parking rides. Municipal and shuttle buses stop here for low and medium off sims. Look at this. Here's all my buses. Are those buses? Driving to the next stop. Came from the stop. This traffic is killing me. Killing me. Uh, I'm, I'm at a loss for what I need to do here. You know, they should have fixed it. From what I understand from one of these most recent patches, they should have fixed this. <laughs> Definitely doesn't appear that they fixed anything. In fact, it's just as bad as it always was. Uh, new aerospace plant opens in city. Hmm. Is that this? For the most part, solid. I mean, this school was doing really well. Our space station, our police station is doing pretty well. We've got new residential towers going in. We're up over now, we're up over 200,000 residents. Holding steady. This other city here is just going to help us with the alloy production. Settlers rest. So we'll stay tuned for that. Um. Let's see. And how much room to increase density? Okay, I got you. I just want to get this crude oil done so I can get rid of this here. I really do. I want to get rid of that. Put these all these nice little apartment buildings are going in. We're looking good. We are looking. Good. Doing well, doing well. Uh, let's see here. Access man, I've tried is it's not bad. A couple libraries down. Let's see, can we stick one of these? Okay, there's an elementary school here. Let's see. Without destroying anything. Let's find a nice little area that we can put this without clearing out anything, you know? I guess we can maybe put it down by the university somewhere. Hmm, right here, it looks like an A-OK spot. Cool. Not bad. 
can we run this room down a little bit? This is industrial. Business is bad. I don't like to hear that. Do not like to hear that. Hmm. This will take a couple game days before we reach that thousand. And then we can go ahead and we can upgrade our different school. School's a bit. Come on, come on. Gathering together. What kind of tech for tomorrow? Well, that's a pretty big building. Let's go. For rent. For rent. Water situation looks solid. Look at that. Pretty much suck the rest of the city dry. <laughs> it's not bad, not bad. Well, we got everything expanding here. I'm impressed. Our department. So we got a little, little one out here. We got our main in the middle. Let's get another fire station in here. Why not? Put this guy. We have one over here. I took it out. But where can we put it? Oh no, wait, I slept the big one. Yeah. There we go. Can't hurt anything, right? Only 400 an hour. Another little station, another truck. Get to, if there's a fire breaks out over here, definitely help us out to get to it a little quicker. But as the education starts to get better, you're going to see that... Oh, I've already noticed, but you guys are going to even see that these fires are going to start subsiding just a bit. I mean, I know I said I was going to give the mayor some room over here, but let's kind of stretch this out just a little bit. What did I put? High density down there? What is this? Yeah, I did put high density. Let's put, I want to keep that medium. And then let's put a little bit more residential. I'm going right up. Looking good. Oh yeah, the other thing I did I think off camera is I put in a couple cross streets. So I put a cross street here, and I think I put one here to try to alleviate some of the traffic on this main road, and it has worked just a tad. So I'm wondering if I put another, because everybody in the city that needs to come in, I mean, some of them are using this road, okay, gotcha, and some of them, I guess, are using this road, but the majority of them are just, they're getting here and they're stopping. So if we just don't want to destroy these buildings, you know? We're dying all around us, I bet. I just don't know where to really. They all want to come down here. They really do. And then what is the hold up here? See, what is going on here? Look at this. What is the hold up? What is the hold up? Was this an accident? Does this make any sense to anybody that, wa that is wa witnessing this here? Okay, look at this. We have all this back up here. Okay? Because none of them can turn here. But why are they all stopped? Because of this? Unbelievable. You guys watch this. Okay, last time I checked, you got two more lanes here. I, I wonder how long this has been like this.
It was almost like it was bugging out. And then now we stop again. Huh. Maybe they're all trying to go down here. Yeah, I, I don't know. If we can put another... Since I just, I guess, accidentally demolished that building... See if that helps out business. I don't know if it's going to help, but I don't know if it can hurt. What we're going to just end up doing is locking up all these streets in here now, too. Hmm. In case you guys are wondering what I'm doing, I'm trying to figure out the traffic dispute, the traffic issues. Let's see. This maybe needs to be... Is this high density? High density. Medium density. Now we got everybody trying to get out. I don't think there's enough crossroads. We've got so much traffic trying to get from point A to point B. I don't think there's enough options for the traffic is what I'm thinking here. This is still locked up a little bit. It's got a little bit better through here, though. Just a little bit. Hmm. It's not looking any worse, you know? It's not looking any worse. Can relocate that little palm there, that's... It's not maximizing my density. Check land value over here. Or is it just down here? So, let's see nature. I got a couple of those already. I got this new park here. I don't know why I saw it. Why it's like a balloon. Yeah. I didn't even realize that it had come out. SimCity Launch Park. an hour for a park. That's a little steep if you ask me. It's a little steep. Now it catches on fire. I take the I take the the pond away and it catches on fire. Go figure. Huh. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Alright, well, let's let the traffic try to work itself out. I've got two bus stations. I got one over here. Okay. And then I got one over here. And fire's burning. 52 minutes. This was up at 60 minutes or something like that. So it is. And the buses are making themselves around. I can put 
put a couple of these down, a park and ride maybe? Where do we have no bus stops? Maybe out here? So they can park their cars. And then let's do another one. down here <laughs> I guess <laughs> and then maybe that's gonna clear up two buildings I want to do that it stops because this actually is a bus stop and then hmm we got 10 or 15 buses just locked up right there. Let's get rid of these abandons. Seriously? Look at this expansion in the industry. This is all going to be high tech stuff. 221,000 residents. And this city really, while well, we have a large amount of unemployed, low wealth residents, I'm thinking that's because all of our tech is upgrading to more like high wealth jobs. All right, let's do an upgrade. Beautiful. So I think the first one should be our Department of Engineering. Right? I guess we could put it like here. Nice. And now let's add our hazmat unit. Is this is gonna become a right hazmat? Yeah, hazmat garage. Cool. Because as these buildings, and I know I keep saying it, but I made a real big mistake on a city I had where I had it was a the majority of the city was industrial. I laid down a university and everything started to expand and one by one the city was literally destroyed because I couldn't figure out what the issue was and then and then as, you, <clears throat> as you'll see this the uh, when the fires start burning they were burning green and I did a little bit of research and I found out they were actually hazmat fires and if you don't have the hazmat trucks of course to defuse it it's just one by one it's going to just destroy your industry and it's going to pretty much ruin your city People are gonna not have jobs. It's just, it's it's not good. So, let's check our international airport. Hmm. Let's see. I mean, we're looking pretty good. Let's see, trash pickup. Plastic line is full. Don't I have? Hmm, that's not maybe that's not good. Plastic. There we go. And we can actually export that because we don't need plastic for anything. That's good. Plastic export. So it'll just be extra money for the city. Any plastic that I seem to accumulate, just be extra money. Let's lay down a little bit of trees over here because nothing's gonna expand down in here. I like the way the trees look, to be honest with you guys. Nice. Now we can maybe put a couple down back here. Everything else is getting really built up through here. So, I don't know. What do you think, guys? Do you think this traffic is moving any better than it was? I think it is. Slightly. Very slightly. This was all locked up. It also depends on the time. I guess they're not shipping it quick enough. I don't like that constant, not enough places to ship freight. It's probably because we don't have enough commercial. Do we have any demand for commercial? A little bit.
So the city's growing. As you can see through our demands, this is usually what starts to happen as your education starts going up. A couple episodes ago, this this one was full, this one was full, and this one was kind of half. Now you're starting to see where these new tech jobs are coming in. The cries for medium and high wealth residents are coming in strong. And that's pretty easy to fix. I mean, you could do it as simple as just adding some parks. You know, it's in this game, to be honest with you, you get... In, of course, with with education and parks come higher wealth residents. So, I mean, you just have to kind of pick a spot in here where we're going to put a nice little park. This area is pretty well rounded. I took that little pond out over here, which is pushing it a little bit. So we can put one in. A nice big one in. That's going to help land value out. Yeah, look at that. And then let's do one more. We have a park there. Let me do that one there. Now this whole area, this is all medium to high. From from this po this point over, this is all medium to high wealth residents. I'm thinking after we get this oil rig out of here, we can move to this area. Let's see what we got going on here. This here, this park, though it is nice, and I like the large field with parking, does not help us land value whatsoever so let's go ahead and get rid of that let's go ahead and move forward with our land value revamp here oh look we had some homeless people living in there too sorry if you guys keep hearing my drink but my throat's been super dry all day must be that dry desert air and okay land value where did I get that So let's go ahead, let's add something pretty substantial in here. Hmm. It's going to be the biggest, like, one of these ones that are not approved, but... See, that doesn't go all the way through, though. Medium path park. Formal. Plaza. There was one of these that... You can see. Real serious. No, they're all about the same. As far as the coverage. That's like nothing. Nothing. I think maybe these bigger ones that you need the tourism. So we'll put a reflecting pool. Is it right at the end of the street here? Okay, this is going to help us out. These water towers can go, to be honest with you. I've got my water plants now. With limited issues as far as right now. Is that another grade school? So I have three grade schools in this city? I have one here. One here. Well, I do have three. Maybe that's why my education is doing so great. I guess I spoke too soon. I don't have the sign, though. So it's not official yet. There you go. Two hundred twenty thousand residents. I think the max I had a city and the other region that I had, where I had three hundred nineteen thousand residents, and I'm not kidding when I tell you, not one car can move in the whole city. Everything was just locked up, and then slowly but surely the city just deteriorated because you know garbage trucks couldn't get around, law enforcement couldn't get around, fires would break up, fire trucks couldn't get around, so it just got me frustrated so I just gave up on it here eh, I think it's in a, this city's in a little bit better position than that one was 
mean, we have our issues here. But, I mean, we do have a lot of cross streets for residents to get in and out. We have this main, you know, through street here where the other city that I had didn't. It just had one of those flat out, you know, entrance ways that most of them have. But you just have to be careful. So this episode here, I mean, as you can see, I mean, we're looking a lot better than we did when we started. We do still have a little bit of a pile up here, but for the most part, our traffic is flowing. We've got our medium and high wealth residential areas expanding due to our university being laid down and our industry being, you know, driven up with all these new buildings here. And what else did I say? We have added our hazmat lot for our fire station, which is definitely going to help us out. And our education is definitely, definitely taking a step in the right direction. This other city here, I will get into a little bit more on the next episode. I'll show you exactly what I had done there. I kind of just touched on it this episode. But primarily, I mean, our goal here is to get that international up and running. And... We will move, let's see, we've got two other plots that we haven't even touched yet. But yeah, definitely. Okay, guys, so we're going to go ahead and finish this one up here. Be sure to leave a like and a favorite and subscribe to the channel. You know, it really means a lot to me. I do this for fun, but I've had a lot of people that have reached out to me and asked me to do this. So, you know, I, and, you know, I definitely like to see the, you know, the following that, you know, I thought I'd have by now. But you guys are great. I appreciate it. Stay tuned for more episodes.